How's it going guys? Uh, here, Chad Weenan, uh, pre-season to the 2016 year and we're uh, doing really well. Got my place here in Florida, my track, and uh, I just bought a house down here at uh, the beginning of the year. And the track's been coming along good. Uh, we started it last year and it's been, a, it's been a process getting it going and finally got it all completed. It's been, it's been great, really, really loving the place. And, you know, as a, you know, training wise, it's, uh, it's been work, you know, just a lot of, lot of machine uh, prep and testing and been hanging out with Borich and Gallagher and, uh, you know, a couple other friends that, um, We've been staying down here with in years past and been training with them as well and doing cycling and, uh, you know, running. You know, we're always staying active and, you know, just having fun together is a, is a big thing. And, you know, we're, we made some improvements on the machine this year and, you know, we're, you know, last year we were a little bit down on, uh, you know, power and uh, a guy at Malaska Motorsports, Tom, and has been working hard and been testing and, you know, we're going to have a little bit stronger of a, uh, an engine this year. And, you know, obviously we're not going to try and sacrifice any sort of the reliability wise, but, you know, we're, we're, we're putting it all together. And, you know, we got uh, Daytona coming up and we're going to be ready for that. And, you know, we got a pretty long break after that. So we'll continue testing and, you know, getting ready for the start of the motocross season. Uh, you know, Daytona is really cool with it being, uh, you know, like a stadium style supercross track at the Speedway. And, you know, we're, we're just going to be the second time uh, we'll be back there. And, you know, we're looking to be on the you know, strong side of the podium. And, you know, we're got a lot of family coming down and, you know, it's, a, it's an exciting part of the year. Born into half of a body, desperate to be I think the ultimate goal for the year is, you know, staying consistent and just riding my own races. And, you know, last year we had some really good competition with Joel stepping his game up and, uh, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be hot and he's going to be trying to 
take the championship away from me. So I got to be ready and you know have answers to his uh, his fights. So um, you know I just I just keep my head down and focus on what I what I've been able to do. You know and I know what works. And uh, Nate Hibbs will be taking the wrench and obviously Mikey Mikey Walsh will be there. You know to help out and really looking forward to that. Nate brings a lot of. Uh, a different personality to the pits and you know he's worked for us before with when Thomas rode for us a couple years ago and really looking forward to you know working with Nate and you know he's hungry as well and he wants to go out and do well and uh, you know prove that he can be a, a race winning mechanic. <laughs> I mean, last year was a it was a tougher day for me, you know, having to go to the LCQ and getting in the first turn uh, tangle up with Upperman. I mean, I did it to myself, you know. I was I felt like I was ready to go. Upperman was not ready to be on the gas yet, but I mean, it's just one of those things. And you know, I, I made the most of my day of what I could with you know the cards that I dealt, you know, I've been dealt. And I think the biggest thing for me this year is just uh, you know have good clean starts. And last year the track wasn't very racy. So it, you had to be, you know, right there on the start. I mean, like, even at the end of the race, if, you know, Thomas or Jeffrey, you know, didn't have their issues, it would have been very difficult to be on the podium there because I came out of the start, I believe, in eighth. I mean, it was a, a difficult track to race on, and I think this year that, you know, maybe they'll make it more, a little more racy and uh, able to make some, some passes if needed. And, you know, obviously the biggest thing is to get out of Daytona safe, and, you know, a lot of things can happen there. And, you know, we get onto the, the normal motocross circuit where I, I'm, I feel like I can really bring a strong presence. So.